dog, guys. Look. This is dolphin. These dolphins have complex neurons that lead to self-awareness and recognizing and solving problems. For example, dolphins are able to play with games, solve puzzles, tools, and so on. This is Gurnard fish. Despite its common name, the purple flying Gurnard does not fly. It can however, walk on the bottom by alternatively moving the pelvic fins and short pectoral fin rays. He has a pair of wings. There is a clownfish. Despite the friendly name, clownfish can be quite aggressive. They are known to fiercely defend their territory, especially when they laid their eggs. They can attack divers when they come too close to anemone. This is pufferfish. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crabs are synonymous with beaches. However, it turns out that not all hermit crab species choose to live near the sea. There are those who spend their lives on tropical land, generally belonging to the Coenobitidae family. It has a very hard shell. This is a dugong. Dugongs are unique marine characters. Weighing nearly half a ton, it is the only vegetarian marine mammal. Although similar in appearance and behavior to manatees, dugongs can be distinguished by their whale-like tails. He is mammalian. This is manta ray. Manta rays also swim by moving their wings up and down, like birds in flight. These wing-shaped fins help them explore the waters and also help in finding food. He has a pair of horn. Let's find again. Well, guys, look. There is lobster. Lobsters are nocturnal animals that are sensitive to light, so when lobsters are in low light intensity conditions, they will move more actively and allow more interactions with other lobsters rather than staying still and hiding in shelters. He has many legs. Well, this is starfish. Starfish can only eat mussels because these creatures also move very slowly so it is still possible for starfish to chase them. However, there are also starfish that prey on fish, small animals, and coral. Be like a star. This is pufferfish. His body is prickly. Pufferfish are fish that belong to the Tetrodontidae family. This fish can be found in salt water and fresh water, such as the Pacific Ocean, Red Sea, Mekong River, and Amazon River. This is octopus. Octopuses are mollusks belonging to the Cephalopoda class. They have eight arms and are often known for their intelligence and ability to change skin color to adapt to the environment. He has many arms. There is a mouth bass. Large mouth bass is a highly adaptive fish and can be found in a variety of freshwater habitats, including lakes, rivers, and swamps. However, this fish prefers habitats that have dense vegetation. He is green. This is manta ray. Manta rays are pelagic fish that are widely distributed and are a type of Perilla fish that migrate hundreds of kilometers. Indonesia's coastal areas have a distribution of stingrays covering the waters of the Indian Ocean. He has a pair of horns. Let's find again. Well, guys, look. There is spotted eagle ray. Spotted eagle rays reproduce ovoviviparously. The eggs are deposited inside the female's body and hatch inside, feeding on the yolk sac until she is born. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spots are meant to tell predators and other animals to stay away. If cornered they can lash out with the poison barb at the end of their tails, and that venom can prove fatal to many species, including humans. 
There is a jellyfish. Even though the jellyfish has died, it is still dangerous. This is because its tentacles, which are equipped with nematocysts, contain poison and still sting even when they are dead. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus was a large marine lizard that lived at the same time as the last dinosaurs. Reaching 12 meters in length, the Mosasaurus looked like a Komodo dragon with shark-like fins and tail. This is Ammonite. Ammonoids were common in the oceans of the late Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras, from about 400 to 65 million years ago, becoming extinct at the same time as the dinosaurs. Although not accurately known. There is crab. Crabs have teeth in their stomach. If you look at a crab at a glance, you will only see its shell, antennae, legs and claws. However, if you turn the crab's body over you will see that their stomach has teeth. Let's find again. Well guys, look. This is squid. Squid are a group of large cephalopod animals, including one of the animals in the invertebrate group, not having backbones. Cephalopod in Greek means head foot, this is because the legs are separated into a number of arms that encircle the head. This is gulper eel. Gulper eels have tiny eyes, which is unusual for deep sea creatures. Bioluminescence might also be used to attract a mate. Scientists believe gulper eels die soon after mating. This is hammerhead shark. This hammerhead shark can be found in warm tropical waters throughout the world. Its habitat includes coastal areas to the continental shelf. He is a high-level predator who lives a solitary life. This is a squid. The name is Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with ten limbs, specifically eight short arms and two long tentacles. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus evolved around 100 million years ago, and diversified by 66 million years ago. This sea monster is thought to have become extinct and a giant asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, plunging the world into darkness. This is Lemon Shark. Lemon sharks are not very brightly colored. They are more of a tawny color, giving them a muddy appearance. This makes them perfectly colored to match the sandy bottom of the environment in which they hunt. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.